So my talk discusses the original concept of electrosomesthetic music, or ESM, and a set of approaches for composing ESM with space. ESM is a kind of computer-generated music that engages the human somatosensory system as an essential artistic aim. Specifically, sound targets non-cochlear vibration-sensitive receptors in the body, such as those in the skin, muscles, joints, and viscera. So what are the creative affordances of a somatic music beyond auditory sound? What can be gained in artistic expression and experience through this different sensory lens? I propose that space in ESM is its most qualitatively idiosyncratic feature. So due to the nature of somatic sensation, somatic sound objects and events are typically experienced as being localized at the threshold of the perceived body and the perceived external environment or within the perceived body itself. The potential for spatial precision and scope over the canvas of the body self is promising for new kinds of musical expression. Through my practice and using artistic proofs of concept, I have identified two key dimensions for consideration in the composition of perceivable spatial nuances, domain and reference frame. The reference frame refers to the constructed spatial field over which content is distributed. In an egocentric reference frame, content anchors to the scope of the body, and in an allocentric frame, uh, the content is distributed over an externalized environment. The domain relates to the medium by which we can render changes over spatial dimensions. We'll look at three of these that leverage computation, uh, physical paradigms, virtual paradigms, and perceptual paradigms. Uh, next slide, please. Physical paradigms employ acoustics such as resonances uh, to create sonic vibration variation over space. Allocentrically, architectural acoustic phenomena like room modes can be combined in such a way as to produce a topology of polyrhythms that can be felt in the chest as one navigates the space. Allocentrically, we can modulate biomechanical resonances during whole body vibration through postural changes. And I guess the slide is there. Um, virtual paradigms, virtual paradigms involve uh, computationally constructed spatial models. In allocentric implementations, this can entail spatially tracked feedback using technologies like VR and wearable tactile actuators. Egocentric implementations can entail multi-channel projection using multiple tactile actuators in an egocentric one. Uh, perceptual paradigms involve spatial uh, complex patterns to provoke non-intuitive spatial illusions. Um, this can be a perceived sound object moving around the arm or um, a kinesthetic movement um, that uh, is from a perceived force. Um, Bekshin offers promising, a promising direction for an allocentric implementation of this domain. Oh, next slide, oh, that's it. Um, and I'll stop there. <laughs>